If you're anything like me, you'll try to avoid taking receipts at checkouts. This helps to minimize paper resources and also helps to minimize your exposure to BPA. But sometimes it's just necessary to take them or it's more useful to take them, um, particularly if you have to file taxes for expenses, that kind of thing, and you can't get a digital receipt. Um, in those cases, you you can tell if a receipt has BPA by doing this quick test. So take something like, in this case, a closed peg, and using the closed peg, give it a little rub on the receipt, uh, and you'll see that a black mark appears. Um, for receipts that don't have BPA, you won't get this uh, this ink uh, residue on here. Um, let me show you on another one using, or on the same one actually, just using a, a pen, the end of a pen, and do the same thing just with the edge of a pencil. Um, here's another receipt just to demonstrate. Uh, using a clothes peg again, using a pen again. And some uh, some companies do have BPA free receipts, but the uh, unfortunate thing is that a lot of them have moved to using BPS or BPF, which are considered with the studies that we have so far to be analogous to uh, BPA in terms of their health effects and environmental effects. So even if something says it's BPA free, make sure that the, the company is not just using something that's probably equally as harmful. Uh, for anybody who does have to take receipts, we offer some, some tips on how to minimize exposure from those receipts uh, in this post. Hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.